Greetings, welcome back to my channel. You're watching Jazzy as a Mama. And in this video, we'll be doing two husband-friendly recipes, crafts, and a mini haul. I got the shaving cream because we're gonna be doing the little cauldron pot project where she um, digs into her potion. These four jack-o'-lantern buckets for my niece, my two nephews, and my son and i got junior a small one because he's a little baby so i was just gonna <laughs> put like i don't know some teething rings or something in there you know just build up a basket of things he already has here so that i can say that he has a basket i'm not sure what i'm gonna do with this yet but i will think of something um, and then this because I could not find a cauldron because Dollar Tree was picked dry pretty much and because I could not find a cauldron I picked this bad boy up for Jordan to play in it tomorrow since tomorrow is Hocus Pocus Day. Ray's gonna go out and get some food coloring to turn the foam green and as she's digging she gonna pull out these little creepy crawling come on focus these lizards, these bugs, and these spiders. I could not find the eyeballs. There were an open pack of tennis balls, but I didn't know what nobody did that. I don't get open stuff. Also, this is gonna be another science experiment that we do. It's got the color twist bomb. I'm gonna let her put it in like a pan and spray it just to see it sizzle. These are the things, or just a few things that I got to go in their boo buckets. Right now, my niece and nephews, they're in virtual schooling, of course. So I thought it would be cool for them to have um, Halloween pencils to work with. I should have gotten all of them with green erasers. Oh, crap. They ain't going to notice. And if they do, oh well. And then um, each of them will get a pack. Jordan will need, need one because Jordan's doing the jumbo pencils. And then I'm going to divide them up by colors. <laughs> so my niece obviously would get purple and then um, my nephews will get green and orange. And then I also got them these petal balls. Um, and I got them these sticker boxes. I thought about getting them little notebooks, but I never went at Target. I also got them these witches brew Kit Kats, just so I can say I put candy in the bucket. The cookies are gonna go in these treat bags. And then I'm gonna dress it up or whatever and send them off. Now for the treats for tomorrow, I only prepped for one right now and that is the s'mores joint. So I got the candy coating, the chocolate candy coating or whatever, and it comes with the microwavable tray. So it'll be easy to dip the frozen s'mores in there. So I'm gonna prep those tonight. So I can go ahead and stick those in the freezer for tomorrow. So tomorrow I can just dip and decorate. And then I got the icing writer. So I can draw, you'll see. And then I got the candy eyeballs, cause hey, it's Halloween. And then I got another tablecloth. I should have gotten two now that I think about it. Um, so that it doesn't get messy if we do something again at the table. So, oh, and also, it's on my head. I got this really pretty witch hat. And it's got like this iridescent glow to it. It's just gorgeous. Got this feather and this black. Well, this is gorgeous. This is one of them hats that you put a bag around and you hang up in the closet or you put it in a hat box and you label it Halloween because you don't want it to lose its shape. But I got this because last week during our family night, I felt really bad because I wasn't dressed up. Like, I really wanted to be dressed up. I wanted Jordan dressed up. And so I'm gonna have on all black tomorrow. She's gonna have on a Halloween attire or, or something, a costume or something. Even if we just wear costumes during movie night, I wanna feel as festive as possible. So I went ahead and I got this witch hat. She'll probably be wearing it when she's doing these science projects and stuff like that. Um, but please don't, don't be fooled. 
the number one spell for us is the power of prayer. So don't. <laughs> okay. Thanks. That concludes it for our haul. And I'll see y'all in a little bit. This is my first attempt at fried rice for lunch. I have my frozen vegetables. I have my shrimp. The fried rice seasoning, binti rice, and kikkoman soy sauce. Get in there, stir up that butter real good. Add your vegetables. Saute them well. Back with the shrimp. Had to take the shell off. But I add a little salt seasoning, but not too much because you're going to add the soy sauce and we don't need those health problems. Then you want to make the fried rice as healthy as possible and you're adding the fried rice seasoning, so you're good. Now once your shrimp start looking all pink all over and not that gray fresh shrimp color, you good. Go ahead and turn the stove down now because you don't want to burn it. So now you have your vegetables sauteed and you're going to start beating an egg, right? That's the good part. Add egg. I could have messed this up. But you, you, you let me do it. Don't leave the party. Don't leave. Get back, get back. Now we're going to add our rice. Add just a little bit of soy sauce. And then grab that packet of fried rice seasoning. Put just a little bit. Only half because you can save the rest for later. You don't want it too salty. No, not too salty. But just enough to taste. And you mix it up. Mix it, mix it, mix it. All right, and I made a bowl for my husband, and I've made a bowl for myself. I'm gonna let him taste it first. So, for dinner tonight, I am making shepherd's pie by my husband's request. I personally don't want any, um, <laughs> I want crab legs that are already in the freezer, but you know team sport so i'm just browning the meat now once you get done browning the meat that's when you add all your good sauces and stuff i'm not gonna tell you unless you tell me you want me to start giving you recipes or whatnot use my rant in the beginning you're gonna need mashed potatoes put your ground beef mixture on top saute corn another layer of potatoes add your shredded cheese of your choice bake on 375 for 10 minutes Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's fix it. Pumpkin. Pumpkin. Yeah. Good job, Joy. Mama's gonna finish cooking, okay? And there you have it, the frequently husband requested shepherd's pie that's easy and quick. Thank you so much for watching. I do hope that you enjoy. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Tune in tomorrow for Hocus Pocus theme day. And see you tomorrow.